All right, all right. Welcome, friends, on the internet and across the world. This is Prospector Phil. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, I like my new intro voice. Coming soon from the makers of quality products like Fuzzy Naval and Kitty Be Got. Okay, so if y'all know, know any uh, voiceover jobs, I'm game. Anyway, um, new video here today. I'm gonna show you my my little antler knife. I made a lot of antler knives, antler knife handles. And uh, one of the questions I get is how sturdy are these things? So we're gonna answer that today because I screwed up. And uh, you can see right there, uh oh. Now this one I've had in a few videos before and Oh, it almost made it four years. But here's your weak point right there. Two weak points. First of all, if you're using a small antler like a deer handle, well, you don't have a very much bone around here. So finally, after four years, I broke it. The second weak point is how thick is your tang. And this tang, obviously, it had holes drilled in it. So all I had was this little tiny piece of metal here and this little tiny piece of metal there. And obviously, not only did I snap a little piece of the bone, but I freaking snap the entire tang. So I'll show you. Wait, maybe it goes like, okay, it goes like that. So I was dinking around this morning and I thought, oh, this will be nice. I'll just stick it in right there like that. That'll hold it really good. And then, of course, I'm walking along. And these freaking suckers, I'm not paying attention. And I just go. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but that foot right there. It, there's not many knives sticking out like that that are going to hold up to it. So I was just being dumb. Anyway, so now, you know, this one lasted four years. Uh, the people that have been asking, well, uh, that's where your weak point is. If you've got one that has an elk antler, you're going to have a lot more bone support there. Also, if you take this piece here and extend it down and you have a, a wider tang without holes in the middle, I just, I mean, this was a good blade. That's why I use this blade but I knew the tang would be a problem eventually. And obviously me being a klutz, well, eventually it was. So I'm still gonna stick that together. I'll probably put some JB Weld on there cause I really like this knife. And the tang is stuck down in right there. But so that'll give you an idea on the durability of these things. They work really good, but if you're a klutz like me and you aren't paying attention and you got size 12 feet and you freaking step on it when it's sticking out like that and you just go, well, it's not going to hold up to everything, but there you go. There's my quick little video. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe. Yeah, if you'd like and subscribe, I really appreciate it because it helps me out. So thanks again. Appreciate you watching.